Hello and welcome back to Joe's Math Tools. In our session today, we are solving even more algebra questions, but we're working with fractions in this one. And if you're ready, let's get started. In our example today that we're going to be working, we're going to be solving our equation for our unknown variable x. Now with these type of equations when fractions are involved and our denominators are different, the first thing we need to do is try to find our LCD. And if you're not familiar with the LCD, maybe you're familiar with finding the LCM. Remember that your LCD is the lowest common denominator which is also the lowest common multiple that all of the numbers in your denominator has in common. And since we're working with 7 and 14, we know that in the 7 time table, we can multiply 2 times 7 and get 14. So that tells me that 14 is a multiple not only of itself, but also of 7. So our LCM or our LCD for this question is 14. So now that we have our LCM, we're now going to change all of our denominators in our fraction to 14. And we're going to do that by finding the fraction's equivalent form. So we're going to start off with my first fraction, which is 5x over 7. Now to find the equivalent fraction of 5x over 7, we need to find what number that we multiply 7 by to give us 14. And we know that when we multiply 7 times 2, we're going to get 14. And remember that with equivalent fractions, whatever you do to the denominator, we must do the exact same thing to our numerator. So 5 times 2 will give us 10, which will equal to 10x. So my new denominator, so my new fraction for 5x7 is now going to be 10x 14. Okay, so now we're moving to our next term, which is x. And since x already has a denominator of 14, we're just going to put the x back. And now we're moving to our 9 sevens. And again, with 9 sevens, we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we did with 5x sevens. We're finding the equivalent form. So what number do we multiply 7 by to get 14? Just like we did before, it's going to be 2. So 7 times 2 is 14 and 9 times 2 is equal to 18. So our new fraction would be 18 14. So now that we have all of our numbers with the exact same denominator, we can now remove our equation from the fraction and just work it out as is. So now we're going to collect our like terms by subtracting x from 10x which would equal to 9x equals to 18. And now with your one-step equation, remember that our whole goal is to get x on one side of the equation by itself. And since our coefficient is 9, we're going to be dividing both sides of our equation by 9. So 9 divided by 9 will leave us with 1, which will be x. And remember that your 1x is the exact same thing as saying x by itself, which is why we don't write the 1 because the 1 is self-explanatory in some sense because 1x is the same thing as x by itself. It's still 1x by itself. And now 18 divided by 9 will equal to 2. And 9 divided by 9 is 1. So my x for this equation is equal to 2. Okay, so let's check our answer. So when solving our equation, we found that x is equal to 2. So now with our substitution, that means that everywhere that x appears in my equation, I'm now going to replace that x with the number 2. So in the first part of my equation, I have 5x. I'm going to replace my x with 2 sevenths minus 2 fourteenths equal to 9 sevenths. And 5 times 2 will equal to 10 sevenths. And here I'm going to reduce this fraction since 2 and 14 can be simplified by dividing by 2. And the reason I am simplifying this fraction in this case is because 
when I simplify my 14 by 2 I'm going to get 7 in my denominator and 1 in my numerator and if you looked at all of the other digits in my denominator they're all 7 so by reducing this fraction and changing having the denominator change to 7 it's going to help me with the calculation a little later so I won't have to worry about finding the LCD since they will all have the exact same denominator and if you look at our fraction where 10 minus 1 it is equal to 9 7 so since both sides of my equation works out to the exact same answer this tells me that my x equal to is the correct answer for my equation okay so there you have it we just solve for our unknown variable x when we have fractions and involve make sure that you get some practice in watch some additional videos and when you're ready to learn a new skill you can always come back to joe's math tools when we make math easy